Dude, the US Open is happening this weekend. God dang it. The last contest of the year, so I guess we gotta do a little bit more preparation. And you guys have been asking for some more Yu Go videos. You guys have been watching all the Yu Go videos, so why not do another one? Basically, what we're gonna do today is we're gonna be live solving the January contest Silver Fall and Berry Picking, because I think. I remember someone telling me that it was an interesting DP solution. I'm not sure, but let's see what happens. So basically, Bessie and her little sister Elsie are picking berries in Farmer John's berry patch. Farmer John's patch has exactly N berry trees. Tree I contains BI berries, and Bessie has exactly K basket. Each basket can hold as many berries from a single tree as Bessie wants, but cannot contain berries from two different trees as their flavors will clash. Okay, of course. Baskets may remain empty. Okay, so Bessie wants to maximize the number of berry, uh, berries she collects. However, Farmer John wants Bessie to share with her little sister. And so Bessie will have to give Elsie the K over 2 baskets with the largest number of berries. This means that Elsie may even end up with more berries than Bessie, which is very unfair, but unfortunately, sibling dynamics are not always fair. True. I know firsthand, okay? Help Bessie figure out the maximum number of berries she can collect. Okay, so in order to maximize her own, like, gain, she gotta give Elsie as little as possible. Cause she doesn't care how much Elsie gets, she just wants to get as much for herself. So we just wanna give Elsie as little as possible. So basically, it gives you N and K, and then it gives you the berries on each tree. Okay, so let's just draw the berries. So you got three over here, you got six over here, you got eight over here, you got four over here, and you got two. Okay, so we know that all of the baskets that Elsie gets have a certain number, right? Like, she gets the top K over 2 basket. So let's say the least amount in one of the baskets Elsie gets is like Q or something. That means that Bessie must get Q or less in all of her baskets, and Elsie must get Q or more in all of her baskets, because we know that Elsie gets a bigger one. So why don't we set like Q to equal 4 or something, right? Then we know that all of Elsie's baskets, if we want to give her as little as possible, we would give her four in all her baskets, and then Bessie would take less than that. So let's say we have four as a minimum we give to Elsie. Then we basically give four to Elsie. Then we give another four, let's say. And they all had to be from the same tree, remember that. Okay, why don't we split this up into four? So there's a four here, there's a four there, there's a four there, and there's another four there. So we'll just snatch this 4 over here, we'll snatch this 4 over here, and we give these two 4s to Elsie, right? But we know that that means that because we gave Elsie 4, and we're giving her only 4s because so there's no reason to give her more, then we basically could give Bessie a max of 4 in her remaining baskets. And there are 4s left for Bessie to take, so we'll just give her this 4 and this 4. Boom, and you get 8. Huh. Well, basically the key thing to understand here is like, basically if you fix Q is like the the divider, so Bessie gets less than or equal to Q in each basket, and Elsie gets greater than or equal to Q in each basket, right? But if Elsie is getting greater than or equal to Q, there's no reason why we should give her any more than Q. So basically, Elsie gets Q in all her baskets, and that's like once you get that, then the problem is basically over. Yeah. So then once you decide what Q is, then you basically split this up into like Q chunks and then give as many Q chunks or give K over 2 Q chunks to Elsie and then give as much as you can remaining to Bessie. But then how do you determine the best Q? Because if you make Q too high then Elsie gets too much and Bessie gets too little but if you give Q too low then Bessie just doesn't get much either. But it's only a thousand so we can basically just we just go through all six possible Qs and the possible Q is just the maximum of the number of berries in the tree. So again, it's not really DP. It's more like you just loop through all the possible cues, then divide the tree up into cues, and then give K over two cues to Elsie, and then split up the remainder and give it to Bessie, and then find the maximum of that. Okay, let's do it. So what's it called? It is called berries. Oh, that's not language. All right, and then we'll do all our F-ins and stuff. And then we gotta do our variable. So we got int n and k, and then we got uh, int b, which is an array of 1000. Okay, then let's read this boy in. So we read everything in, and then basically what we gotta do is we gotta loop through q, which is gonna go from, uh, well, we should keep track of the max b. So uh, int max b is equal to zero, and then we'll just say max b is equal to max of max b comma b i. Okay. So now we have the max, actually we should have to include it. algorithm and then it should work. And math.h. I'm not sure which one it's in, so we'll just include both, why not? So basically now max b has a maximum 
amount of berry than any one tree and that means that Q could go from either one to that many. So basically, well, could Q technically be zero? I mean, Q could technically be zero, right? Well, honestly, no, it has to be at least one. Okay, well, let's just call it Q because that's what we call it. Q is one, Q is less than or equal to max B, Q plus plus. Okay, and basically for each Q, we want to keep track of how many chunks of what size we got. So like in our example, we have like for a Q equals four, we have like four chunks of four, two chunks of two, and one chunk of three. And basically what we did is we basically kept giving chunks of four until we didn't have any more chunks of four and then we gave chunks of three and then we would give chunks of two but we only had enough baskets for the chunks of four so it didn't really matter. So how should we store that? Should we just use a vector? Well we could just use an array so we'll call it um, int. Well then we had to reset the array to zero every time. But that's okay right? Yeah that's okay because we could do n squared times. So we'll make an array int. Um, chunks and we'll call it we'll go to one to 1000 and then every time we'll just set from zero to Q we'll set it to zero and we should probably make it 1001 1001 just to be safe and then we'll set chunks, uh, chunks I is equal to zero okay. and then now we got to divide it up into chunks first so we'll go through each tree so for int I is equal to zero I less than n I plus plus and for each tree, we'll see what chunks we got. So, basically the number of big boy chunks we got is, so the number of Q chunks we got is basically gonna be that over Q. So, chunks of Q size, we're gonna add um, B, I over Q. And then chunks of B, I mod Q is just gonna be plus plus. Basically chunks of zero are kinda useless, but whatever, yeah, we'll just not ignore the chunks of zero if b of i is divisible by q. Okay, so we got that figured out. Now we got to assign these chunks to people. So we have to assign at least k over two chunks to, is k even? Yeah, okay, so we have to assign at least k over two chunks to Elsie. So first thing we gotta check is if k over two is um, greater than chunks of q, then we just continue because we need at least k over two chunks to give to Elsie. Otherwise, we do chunks Q minus equal um, K over two. And then from there, now we have to see how much we could give to uh, Bessie. So int given is equal to zero, because we've given uh, Bessie zero so far. And then we'll start at int car is equal to Q. So we'll start at giving her Q chunks. And then while we go down, we'll give her less smaller chunks until like we'll give her the biggest chunk we can, but we'll eventually run out of Q chunk, so we'll have to go down. So while given is less than K over two, well, first we make, I gotta make sure our car is greater than zero and and given is less than K over two, then we will keep giving her stuff. So um, if chunks car is greater than zero, then we'll give her one of these chunks and then well, we had to keep track of her total, so let's see, in total. So this is how much total berry she got. So we'll do total plus equal car, and then we'll subtract one from these chunks. And then otherwise, if it's not greater than zero, then we have to go down. So we gotta do car minus minus, and that's it. And then at the very end, we wanna make sure that we gave her enough. So given if given is equal equal to k over two, then, we basically got to set our, we basically want to find the max total, right? So outside we'll have a max total, int max pot is equal to zero. And then if we gave her the right amount, then we will say max pot is, we'll say max pot is equal to max, uh, max pot, comma, uh, top, total, that's what we called it. And then at the very end, we want to fouch the max pot. Okay, let's test this, alrighty. Probably gonna error out the first time, but oh, wow, it worked okay. Dang, did not expect that. Uh, let's try downloading and see what happens. All right, what we get on the first try? This is unprecedented, okay? I've never gotten something right on the first try. That, that has never happened. Okay, I don't think it's gonna happen, but we'll at least get the first test case, okay? I'm pretty sure. Come on, come on, at least the first test case. Okay, good, we got the first test case. Oh, what? <laughs> let's go, first try. Bruh, that is literally unprecedented. Oh my, holy. 
Okay, that's pretty good. Well, okay, let me just explain the logic again because I don't know how clear it was, but basically, you know that Bessie gets less than Elsie in all her baskets because Elsie gets all the good baskets and Bessie gets all the bad baskets. So, if Bessie gets, let's, let's define a good basket as having greater than or equal to Q. So then Elsie gets all the ones that are greater than or equal to Q, but we want to give her as little as possible so we have as much left over for Bessie. So if we give Elsie all equal to Q, then there's more left over, but we still could give Bessie the same amount as if as if Elsie had gotten like more than Q in each of her baskets. So then we basically break it up into chunks of Q because we know that the max we could give to Bessie is Q and we want to give Elsie only Q. So we give all the Qs to Elsie and then the remaining, we just give as the biggest chunks we can because each chunk is going to go in one basket to Bessie. And that's how we did it. So there we go. Very epic. Alrighty, thank you guys for watching. I know that you guys are stressing out about the open exam, so I wanted to make a much, bunch more Yusuko videos before that happens. So this week, we're just gonna be doing Yusuko, I guess, until Sunday. I guess there's not really much point, but I'll just do Yusuko this week. It'll be epic. As always, if you enjoyed the video, leave a like and subscribe for more. If you guys want more of these Yusuko walkthroughs, just let me know down in the comments. Thank you guys for watching so much, and see you guys next time.